Do you think the interest in public health startups will dry up as the pandemic fades away? I feel as though it's more about getting the capacity in the investor community that understands these topics, cares about these topics and wants to invest. And I think we have that now. And I think that we're unlikely to see innovation fade away in this space. COVID's not going away. You know, it's not, unfortunately, it's not going away. And I think it's here to stay and become an endemic. And so it's going to be something that is going to be a constant reminder of how we need to be better prepared than we were in the past. I don't think the level of, of attention or mind share is, is necessarily sustainable, nor probably is it healthy because we're going to have to shift our focus elsewhere. When you look at the leading causes of death in the U.S., number one is heart disease. Number two is cancer. Again, Ewell is coming from a non-communicable disease standpoint as opposed to infectious diseases, but uh, those conditions are not going anywhere. I don't think that the, the, the investment will go back to zero. I don't think that's going to happen. So I think on the overall, it's probably going to be more positive and, um, and supportive for public health startups on the overall.